Good morning. So today, as I'm recording this, is February 1st, but nobody is going to be seeing this until the 6th. Yeah. Because that's when I, I post these on Sundays. So, or I try to. We have another cryptid. We're actually very close to finishing. So I have one, two, I have three left, four left, three after today. Once we finish today, we're only going to have three left. And after that, we have to figure out what else to do. <laughs> I do have some ideas. Uh, so once we get closer to that, we'll figure it out as we go. Today we're going to switch to the last page here. I'm going to be working in this little box. Uh, so you're probably wondering what we're going to be working on today and I'm kind of got to start fairly quickly. Uh, I'm also extra sniffly today so I apologize. I had a lot of plants today and then I got sniffly and I was like, no, I'm going to stay inside. Um, even though I haven't really talked to anybody in like two weeks other than my roommate. So, uh, because of that, oh no, you know what? I went to pottery class last week. But we always wear a mask in pottery class. So yeah, that's, yeah. Anyway. Today's cryptid is the Ningen. Uh, N-I-N-G-E-N. -E so let's talk about the Ningen before I get started. In modern Japanese folklore, the Ningen is an aquatic humanoid creature reported to live in a sub-Antarctic oceans. The homophone in Jap Japanese means human. Uh, and here's the kanji for that. It's really bad kanji because I don't I've never learned kanji or anything like that, so I'm kind of, um, yeah, it's bad. It is commonly considered to be, like, the Japanese Bigfoot. Um, I feel like the way it's described to me is that even though it's a modern-day, um, folktale, I, I don't even know if it's considered a folktale, because if it's modern-day, then it hasn't had time to grow into the the culture or something like that something akin to that but it it's it's up there in terms of like North America has Bigfoot Japan has the Ningen well, at least that's what I've been told I don't know if that's entirely true because a lot uh, a lot of the times there's a lot more lore in terms of like the demons and the the wandering spirits in Japan. Uh, those are considered to be more substantiated than the Ningen, considering that the Ningen is relatively newer uh, to the to the culture. So saying that it's akin to Bigfoot is kind of a misnomer. So. I don't, I don't know. That That's a weird factoid. Uh, and I'm not even sure that it's correct. In fact, I don't believe it's correct at all. I feel like the Ningen is like, it's more creepypasta than anything. Um, whereas like the tales of demons and spirits that wander Japan and most of Asia uh, have been, those stories have been around for centuries and the Ningen is something that just showed up very very recently. This legend began on a forum post on the Japanese online forum 2 channel which claims that the members of a whale research ship witnessed the creature as it surfaced near their ship off the Antarctic coast. The Ningen is described as a whale creature but has anatomical similarities to humans. The creature has a face and in some stories it has it is said to have extremely long limbs and such as arms and hands about 65 to 100 feet long which is massive <laughs> the creature always appears to be pale white so we're dealing with a big white whale 
<laughs> essentially. So yeah, we're we're dealing with like this whale, this creature that's as big as a whale, but has hands and has arms and hands and all sorts of things. Um, and then the picture on the wiki said that it had um, or showed that it was walking on legs, but didn't have arms. So kind of remind the picture on the wiki actually reminded me of the Fresno Nightcrawlers more than anything. But yeah, so we're just going to get started on the Ningen and talk Ningen and talk about some just random stuff that's been going on in my life. As I've said a moment ago, I um uh, I'm very sniffly today. And so I had a lot of plans today that ultimately were canceled because everybody's trying to be uber cautious. I remember pictures of the Ningen having really long, creepy fingers. Yeah, so everybody's being super cautious, and so all my plans for today kind of got canceled, which you know, isn't great because those were paying gigs and I need the money. But in looking on the bright side of things, as I am want to do, uh, it means I have more time to record some of the games so I can get like a buffer going for my gaming channel. Uh, which is in dire need because if I can get a buffer for my gaming channel it means I don't have to focus on that as much and I can start doing art on a more regular basis because um, I do have some big art projects that I want to do I have a few seri art series that I want to get into you know things like that so I'm really excited to have like maybe a couple of months in the pipeline for gaming channel so it's like oh I only have I don't have to record anything for a couple months or if I just really feel like it because game <laughs> it's been really funny the more that I've been gaming the more I've been like excited for going through this the humble bundle uh for racial justice and equality like I've been really excited for that Kind of giving him a, a strong, sad <laughs> face. Or like, oh, it's not Wobbuffet. Quagsire? Kind of giving him a Quagsire face. It's going to be a super short episode. What was I talking about? Oh, my gaming channel. Yeah, I've been... I've cataloged all the games that came in the Humble Bundle for Racial Justice and Equality and I'm going through that I've just been so excited to finally like to look at some of those games and be like oh I want to play that oh I want to play that oh I want to play that and so that's kind of like renewed my renewed my renewed me re-energized me. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, so I've been re-energized and excited for things and I've I think I've figured out a recording schedule that will work with me or will work around some of the odd jobs that I do around town. Um I should ink this for sure. Yeah. So I've been doing a lot of odd jobs around town. I actually have an application out um, right now at the Marine Science Center close by um, and it's for like a teaching a part-time teaching position where it's like I don't necessarily have a scientific background I have more of an artistic background but I do have the teaching experience that they're looking for so hopefully I can get if I get that job, I won't have to do odd jobs anymore because that will mostly pay for a lot of things. And my only problem is 
children and mask because I would be more susceptible to things and I'm like, eh, kids. Children! So that's exciting. I'm excited to do that because I love, I do love marine biology and marine sciences. I'm just not, I don't even know if I did his lips, but I'm not in any way a scientist of any kind. So I'm really not, I don't know if I will be uh, selected unless they really want, unless they're really looking, looking more for someone who has teaching experience and that the science can be taught to them because I am, I, I'm a very quick learner in instances like that. So even if I don't know the science, I will pick it up as I go. And I'm, uh, it also has like hiking elements to it, which will be great because I love hiking. Um, and I haven't done nearly enough hiking since I've moved up here. And so that will be really fun and really exciting for me. And let's see, which one of these is dark, but not too dark. So yeah, I'm excited about that and other things in my life going on and stuff is stuff is weird right now but you know it's getting there yeah this is where my habit of forgetting how light works is going to kick me in the butt um something a little darker but this is a cool gray I want is it the C5 that is pretty much dead yeah that's my only other cool gray so I'll just use a little bit of it and then Wash it out with this. Just a little bit here. Not much. So what I'm going to do here... So I'm going to find my lightest mark blue, which I think is this one. And I'm going to map out the outline of the water spray. Give us a nice like Arctic sky look. So one of the games I finished playing yesterday was called Secret Little, Little Haven, and it was really it was cute. I really enjoyed it because um, it deals with a trans girl kind of, and this was like in the early, or no, this was in the late 90s, like 1990, it was set in the 1999, about a trans girl who spent a lot of time online because that's where a lot of her friends were and a lot of people do I want these three? So she spent a lot of time online. Ooh, that's too dark. Um, and met a lot of people who had similar experience and interests and made a lot of friends that way, but also had like a really overbearing father. So, um, she spent, ooh, that's the color I want, but it's gross. 
Yeah, so she spent a lot of time online, which to her father's chagrin, um, to the point where he like blocked her out of the computer entirely. So it's like it deals with like a lot of abuse and like emotional abuse and gaslighting and stuff like that. And it was a really interesting game, but it was also really tough. Like, can you get off? Thank you. Okay. Does that work now? No, it doesn't look like it works. Alright. Time to break out the ahoos. Oh, this is heavy. So we're gonna look for... I didn't want to use these for this project because I kind of want to save these. Look at them. Look how beautiful they are. So, let's check this blue here. These were my birthday Christmas present. It's not as light as I would like. Or it's not the it's not a greeny blue. That's what, more what we're looking for. Because I kind of wanted to use up my super markers. Let's see how these. I don't want to run my fingers with these bad markers. I guess that color is just not going to do it. So we're going to switch to the Ahuhus for this. Oh, um, put these away. Um, these are just not great markers, and that's okay. Not all markers can be good. That can go away. I just have a bad habit of not putting things away after I've been using them. So I'm going to move these here so I can move this back over here because we're looking, this one was good. Let's try, what does this look like? Exactly that color, but hopefully Okay, good. That blends a lot better. Still not perfect, though. Completely forgotten what I was talking about. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Oh, okay, awesome. That makes the blue kind of disappear a little bit more. Good to know. So we're going to try... Ooh, wrong way. Yeah, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Just, I guess we can darken it up just a tad. I'm sure there's like a lighter blue... That we can blend out the edges so it looks more like a gradient. Oh yeah, I was talking about like I the a project I did last week was I did a cover for one of my short stories. And I did that with watercolor and I just left all of my watercolors out here. And so this morning I was trying to clean up before doing anything and I still have watercolors just laying around so, you know doing my best to not clean up after myself <laughs> but uh, there's a lady on TikTok who came up with like this really 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 good mantra that I've been kind of using in my day-to-day -day life or at least I was uh, I kind of half forgot about it 
um, because my brain has just been super shot lately. Uh, but the mantra was, don't put it down, put it away. So it's like, if I'm done with this, it goes back into my container, my <laughs> container. I don't need this right now. Uh, uh, my problem with the hoo-hoos is that I don't remember where everything goes, but that's okay. As long as the colors are somewhat together. So we're going to do this. Really should do light to dark, but you know what? Okay. And then and that will be the white part, which we can take the colorless blender to and kind of round that out. I'm going to switch the chisel tip in a second because I really want to get that. But yeah, so I'm going to pass that. I don't remember exactly who it was that had that advice, but she uh, she's on TikTok. I think it was the Papa John's lady, the one who uh cleaned the gross like pizza tray that came underneath their pizza and had never been cleaned before and then just like tossed it i want to say that was her but yeah she uh whoever it was had a cha has a channel on tiktok where it's just kind of like little adhd hacks for your brain and the don't put it oh, don't put it down put it away was so helpful to me and I was actually using that in um when I was helping uh working at the pottery st uh, shop for a little bit where I like don't put it down put it away don't put it down put it away don't put it down put it away and then to even out that part we're going to go back with our lighter green And just like that. Spread the wealth. Yes, yes. Just a little bit of this. Just a little bit. I kind of want to make it look like it's not the same wave. I don't think it's coming off as well as I want it to, but we do what we must. Okay. I think we can go back to the other markers. So let's do, do we have like a dark gray that we can, yeah. So, what have y'all been thinking about this series so far? Have you been enjoying it? What's, uh, which one has been your favorite? And is there, I, we still have three left, so you might see it, so you don't know. But which one ha, like, what cryptid do you want to see in this series? Because there's only going to be 13 of them. Oops. And if there's only going to be 13 of them, that means that after the Negan... You have three more. Three more. Oh, great. Okay. 
Okay. So we got our rocks. I'm gonna do just a bit, a little bit of black just to give more definition here where the shadows are and everything. Oh, hey, look, part of the rock I forgot. I'm gonna make up shadows. I'm so glad that I left this out because last time I accidentally put a marker back and I couldn't remember which one it was. I'm like, oops, my bad. So now, Blend those back into So we're not going to do a whole lot of black here. We're just going to... Ooh, nope. This requires precision. Precision nib! Oh, you can't see it. There you go. Precision. Actually, I should move this down. There we go. Oh, it's a nice cloudy day today. That's why my lights are so bright. Okay. I'm so happy I learned how to blend with these markers. Hopefully that comes off as a mouth. All right, everybody start singing the song. I'm not gonna sing it because I don't want to get sued. And... What year is it? 22. Oh yeah, that reminds me because Last time, I think it was when I was doing Hat Man. Yeah, so when I was doing the Hat Man, I said that this was the first one of 2022. That's because I completely forgot <laughs> that we had done the Fresno Nightcrawlers, <laughs> which was technically the first one of 2022. But yeah, that's my sketch. Yep. Oh, we are getting close to the end. I'm so excited. Ah, so we have one, two, three left. And I th think this is next week. So we'll see. But for now, I'm just going to leave it open to this. And that's the Negan. You can kind of tell what my inspiration for it was. I hope. Oh, this one was a good one, y'all. I uh, actually enjoyed it. It was really short. Didn't take as uh, as long as some other ones. Oh, which one was the longest, do you think? Because some of these took me like an hour. Oh, I'm pretty sure Mothman was pretty long. I don't think this one took me very long at all. The Flatwoods Monster. Sasquatch kind of was took a minute. This one I had to draw a goat, so this one probably took long too. But yeah, I I I think I've been getting faster at these. I don't know. But yeah, for there's a one particular project that I'm actually looking forward to, and uh, that one that's gonna require ordering some sketchbooks because I want them to all be in one place versus this which they're all going to get cut out and put into a frame so you know yeah all right well thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed learning about the Negan all right I'll see you later Bye-bye.